What if I told you that one of the smallest and least understood communities in the world holds a genetic link to some of the most pivotal events in human history? The Samaritans, a community numbering just around 800 today, have roots that trace back thousands of years to ancient Israel. Mentioned in the Bible, yet often misunderstood, the Samaritans have survived wars, conquests, and cultural shifts. But how much do we really know about them? For centuries, the Samaritans have been shrouded in mystery. Their traditions are ancient, their beliefs distinct, and their history marked by both resilience and isolation. They claim descent from the northern kingdom of Israel, and their religious practices are centered around Mount Gerizim, a site they regard as the true holy place of worship. But what does modern science say about their origins? Groundbreaking DNA research has been delving into the genes of the Samaritans, uncovering secrets about their ancestry, their relationship to ancient Israelites, and their genetic ties to other populations in the region. The results are surprising and deeply fascinating, offering a glimpse into a story of survival that spans millennia. In this video, we'll dive deep into the Samaritan story. Who are they, really? What does their DNA reveal about their ancient origins? And how have they preserved their identity through centuries of change? Stick around, because by the end, you'll see the Samaritans in a whole new light. The story of the Samaritans begins in the ancient kingdom of Israel, in the northern part of what is now modern-day Israel and the West Bank. According to historical and religious accounts, the Samaritans trace their ancestry to the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, two of the twelve tribes of Israel. They believe they are the true keepers of the faith, adhering to the original teachings of the Torah as handed down by Moses. Their religious text, the Samaritan Pentateuch, differs slightly from the Jewish Torah, reflecting their unique interpretation of ancient traditions. One of the key distinctions is their belief in Mount Gerizim as the central place of worship, rather than Jerusalem. This difference became a major source of conflict between Samaritans and Jews during the Second Temple period. The Bible mentions Samaritans multiple times, often highlighting tensions with Jewish communities. For example, in the New Testament, the parable of the Good Samaritan emphasizes kindness across cultural divides, suggesting that even in Jesus' time, Samaritans were seen as the other. Historically, the Samaritans faced conquest and exile. When the Assyrian Empire conquered the Northern Kingdom in 722 BCE, many Israelites were deported and new populations were brought in. The Samaritans claim to have maintained their lineage through this period, although Jewish sources argue they intermarried with the newcomers, diluting their ancestry. Despite these challenges, the Samaritans persisted, holding on to their distinct religious practices and identity. Over time, they became a tiny, isolated community, marginalized by both Jews and Christians. But as we'll see, their DNA tells a story that validates their ancient claims in surprising ways. Today, the Samaritans are one of the smallest ethno-religious groups in the world. Numbering around 800 people, they live primarily in two locations, Kiryat Luza, near their sacred Mount Gerizim in the West Bank, and Holon, a suburb of Tel Aviv in Israel. This tiny community faces unique challenges in preserving its identity and traditions in the modern world. For centuries, the Samaritans have adhered to strict rules of intermarriage to maintain their lineage. However, this practice has come with its own set of problems. A limited gene pool has led to a higher prevalence of certain genetic disorders, raising concerns about the long-term health of the population. In recent years, the community has made efforts to address this issue by allowing intermarriage with non-Samaritans, provided the spouse adopts the Samaritan faith. These changes reflect the community's delicate balancing act between preserving tradition and adapting to modern realities. Culturally, the Samaritans maintain a rich heritage of ancient practices. They celebrate Passover with a public sacrifice of lambs, a ritual that draws visitors from around the world. Their calendar, written in ancient Hebrew script, follows a unique system that predates the Jewish calendar. However, being such a small community comes with risks. The Samaritans have faced centuries of persecution, from Byzantine attempts to forcibly convert them to Islam, to the challenges of living in a region marked by political conflict. Yet, 
Despite these struggles, they have managed to survive, holding on to their ancient identity with remarkable tenacity. Their current population may be small, but their influence and historical significance are immense. The Samaritans are a living connection to a past that shaped the religious and cultural landscape of the Levant. And as we'll uncover next, their DNA provides even more evidence of their enduring legacy. Modern DNA research has revolutionized our understanding of the Samaritans, confirming much of what they have claimed about their ancestry. Genetic studies show that the Samaritans are closely related to Jewish populations, particularly the Kohanim, the Jewish priestly caste. This suggests a shared lineage dating back to the ancient Israelites. Scientists have compared Samaritan DNA with that of other populations in the Levant, revealing remarkable continuity. Despite centuries of conquest and migration in the region, the Samaritans have maintained a genetic profile that closely resembles that of ancient Israelites. This finding aligns with their historical claims of descent from the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh. One of the most striking aspects of Samaritan DNA is its purity. Because the community has remained relatively isolated, their genetic makeup has changed very little over the centuries. This has allowed researchers to use their DNA as a kind of time capsule, offering insights into the genetic landscape of the ancient Near East. At the same time, this isolation has its drawbacks. A limited gene pool means that the Samaritans have a higher risk of genetic disorders, a challenge they are actively addressing through controlled intermarriage policies. What's truly fascinating is how DNA research bridges the gap between science and history. By analyzing their genes, scientists have been able to validate the Samaritans' claims of ancient Israelite ancestry while also shedding light on their unique journey through time. These findings don't just confirm the Samaritans' connection to the past, they also highlight their resilience as a people. For thousands of years, they have preserved their heritage, not just through tradition, but through their very DNA. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Samaritan community is their strict marriage practices, which have played a pivotal role in shaping their DNA over the centuries. In an effort to preserve their distinct identity, the Samaritans traditionally married within their own community. This practice ensured that their ancient genetic lineage, which they believed was directly linked to the tribes of Israel, remained pure. However, such a practice also meant that their gene pool became increasingly limited over time. Historically, the Samaritans' strict rules of marriage created a unique genetic structure that set them apart from surrounding populations. Because of this, their genetic profile is remarkably consistent across generations. DNA studies have shown that many of the Samaritans share common genetic markers, linking them together as a small, closely-knit population. While this may seem like an advantage in terms of preserving cultural heritage, it also presents challenges, particularly in terms of genetic health. As the Samaritan community remained isolated for centuries, certain genetic disorders became more prevalent. For example, a higher occurrence of certain recessive genetic diseases has been observed within the community. This has raised concerns about the long-term viability of such a small gene pool. The Samaritans' isolated status also means that they have not benefited from the genetic diversity that other populations have gained through intermarriage with neighboring groups. In recent years, however, the Samaritans have begun to address this issue. The community has made efforts to allow for limited intermarriage with outsiders, though this is done under strict conditions. Non-Samaritans who wish to marry into the community must convert to Samaritanism, and even then, the practice remains highly selective. While this change has helped diversify the genetic pool somewhat, it hasn't come without its challenges. The balance between maintaining genetic health and preserving cultural identity is delicate, and the Samaritans walk a fine line. Despite these challenges, the Samaritans have managed to maintain their identity and preserve their unique traditions. Their DNA reflects this persistence, offering insights into a community that has adapted to modern times while holding fast to its ancient roots. The history of intermarriage and its impact on Samaritan genetics is a fascinating chapter in their story of survival and cultural resilience. One of the most significant revelations of recent DNA research is the close genetic relationship between the Samaritans and Jewish populations, especially the Jewish Kohanim, the priestly class. 
Genetic studies have shown that the Samaritans share many genetic markers with Jews, particularly those who trace their lineage to the ancient priestly families. This connection confirms the Samaritans' claims of descent from the ancient Israelites, specifically from the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh. But while the Samaritans and Jews share a common ancestry, their genetic profiles also highlight important differences. Over time, the two communities took separate paths, influenced by historical events such as the Babylonian exile and the Roman conquest of Judea. The Samaritans, who remained in the region of Samaria, developed their own distinct religious practices and beliefs centered around Mount Gerizim rather than Jerusalem. DNA analysis reveals that while the Samaritans and Jews have many similarities, they also show signs of divergence, likely due to centuries of separation and differing cultural practices. For example, while the Samaritans' genes are closely related to Jewish populations, they also have unique markers that distinguish them from other Levantine groups. This could be the result of their isolated existence, as well as their selective marriage practices. Furthermore, the Samaritan genetic profile also exhibits connections to other Levantine populations, such as Palestinians, Syrians, and Lebanese. These genetic overlaps suggest a shared ancient history in the region, with migrations and interactions between these various groups over millennia. Despite their differences, the Samaritans' genetic makeup ties them to a larger web of interconnected populations in the Levant, all of whom share common roots in the ancient Near East. The genetic evidence underscores the idea that the Samaritans are not an isolated, lost community, but rather an enduring link to the ancient peoples of the Levant. Their DNA offers a powerful testament to the shared history of the region, showing how migration, conquest, and cultural exchange have shaped the genetic landscape of the modern Middle East. For the Samaritans, their traditions are more than just a way of life, they are a direct link to their ancestors. From their religious practices to their cultural rituals, the Samaritans have maintained a continuity that spans thousands of years. But what does modern DNA reveal about these ancient traditions? One of the most fascinating aspects of Samaritan culture is their belief in the sanctity of Mount Gerizim as the true place of worship. While Jews traditionally regard Jerusalem as the center of their faith, Samaritans have always held Mount Gerizim in central religious importance. This belief is not just a cultural difference, it's deeply embedded in their genetic history. Recent DNA studies have shown that the Samaritans' genetic profile aligns with ancient populations from the region surrounding Mount Gerizim, supporting their claim to this sacred land. Genetic markers found in their DNA suggest a continuity of settlement in this area dating back to the time of the ancient Israelites. This provides a biological connection to the very land they've considered sacred for millennia. DNA evidence also supports the Samaritans' claim of being descendants of the northern kingdom of Israel. Their genetic makeup closely matches that of ancient Israelites, especially those who lived in the northern regions of the kingdom. This connection validates their religious narrative, showing that their claim to be the true heirs of the Israelite faith is more than just a matter of tradition, it's backed by science. Furthermore, the Samaritans' distinctive customs, such as their unique Passover rituals and the use of ancient Hebrew script, seem to be reflected in their genetic heritage. These practices have been passed down from generation to generation, and DNA analysis shows that the community has maintained a remarkable degree of genetic continuity in the region over time. While other ancient cultures have disappeared or assimilated, the Samaritans have preserved their identity through both culture and DNA. DNA doesn't just tell us where the Samaritans came from, it also tells us about their survival. Through centuries of conflict, exile, and isolation, the Samaritans have managed to hold on to their traditions, passing them down through their genes and their customs. And as we continue to study their DNA, we are uncovering more about the ancient roots of these fascinating people. The journey of the Samaritans, as revealed by their DNA, is a remarkable story of survival, resilience, and cultural preservation. Despite being one of the smallest and most isolated communities in the world, they have managed to maintain their distinct identity for over two millennia. Their genetic legacy offers a direct link to some of the oldest civilizations in the Middle East, providing not just scientific evidence, but also a deeper understanding of their ancient traditions and beliefs. 
Through modern DNA research, we've seen how the Samaritans' genetic makeup validates their ancient claims. The close relationship between their DNA and that of other Jewish populations, along with their unique genetic traits, confirms their historical connection to the ancient Israelites and their long-standing presence in the Levant. The evidence of their ancient roots in both their genes and their traditions adds weight to their narrative as a community that has endured, against all odds, through time. Their unwavering commitment to preserving their religious practices, such as their veneration of Mount Gerizim, further solidifies the Samaritans' role as a living testament to the ancient cultural and religious landscape of the region. DNA studies have shown that they are not simply a relic of history, but a community that has endured, adapted, and preserved its identity through both genetic continuity and cultural resilience. In a world where many ancient peoples and cultures have been lost to time or swallowed up by larger, more powerful civilizations, the Samaritans' ability to survive as a distinct group is nothing short of extraordinary. Their story is a reminder of the power of tradition, the importance of preserving cultural heritage, and how modern science can help us reconnect with the past. So, the next time you hear about the Samaritans, remember, they aren't just a footnote in history. Their DNA is a living bridge to ancient Israel, and their story continues to unfold in the present, offering us a unique glimpse into the past and a living connection to one of the oldest traditions in the world. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of the Samaritans' DNA and history. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating stories that shape our world. And as always, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What part of the Samaritan story surprised you the most? See you in the next video.